Earlier today, Dr. Virasami Romayo, REO Region 6, confirmed that he is resigning from the Region 6 RDC. Michael Khan reports. Following a media release by the Ministry of Communities, Dr. Virasami Ramaya has confirmed his resignation as the Regional Executive Officer of East Burbese Quarantine. Dr. Ramaya tendered his resignation on August 10th to the Honorable Minister Ronald Balkan and will take effect on September 15th, 2016. During an exclusive interview earlier today with Channel 8 News, the outgoing REO was asked why he decided to assume the portfolio on September 7, 2015. The reason I, I refused to work with Moses uh, at the time was an assistance to collect information in Region 6 and relate that back to him in Georgetown, what can be done. So when I refused that uh, position, uh, Mr. Harbajan was given that position. That position by itself could have not given me the privilege to do the things for the people of Barbies because I, have, I felt then and I still feel now that Barbies was neglected by the PPP, especially when it comes to development of areas for sports and the infrastructure development also was very, very substandard. So after I refused that position, then uh, I said it's time for me to go on with my life. So um, I resigned from the AFC. And after my resignation, uh, it was not a written resignation. I did that through the press. And I was asked by the government that they want to offer me this position as the RU. And I said this will be an ideal opportunity. The salary by itself is insufficient, but I don't look at the salary, I look what I can contribute to the development of Region 6 and to this country. Dr. Romaya said that fostering development in a hostile, politically divided environment is no easy task. Our own people, when I said that our own people, I'm referring to the AFC and APNO people, that they are also in collaboration with the PPP at the RDC level was seeking for my dismissal from that position. Now, I want to, to say why the couple, a few of the AFC people had wanted me out. Because in 2011 election, I had my differences with them. And I will never, in my any organization that I am involved in, theft, skullduggery, dishonesty, I will not tolerate. And because I expose certain um, things that were happening with the AFC in 2011, that vendetta is still on in their minds. So to keep me around, and they are around also in government positions, they feel that they will be caught. The outspoken REO further alluded. They are very happy now that I left because the things that I want to put in place um, will not be done in a very, very long time. I can tell you that right now. It, the things that I have seen right now, what is going on. Dr. Romaya alleged that there are several discrepancies taking place in a number of departments across Region 6. When I came into the streets and I saw people during working hours on the streets, Main Street, doing shopping, up to this morning, I saw people from the engineering department and cell phone outside. Most, most of the times, if you check the time sheet, they're coming in late. So what I have done, I implement a system that I, I embedded me when I was overseas and I introduced a time clock, a computerized time clock to keep on top of everything because I can't leave my office to, to know who is coming in late and who is going out early. That also has been tampered. So that even is not working right now. So what I was trying to do, every person should be accountable um, to the office and, and to the region because they took this job to give so many hours and when I see uh, excessively that people abuse the system, 
and that abuse was not today. It came along um, since uh, the PVP was here when I came back. The REO reiterated that his only goal was to foster development in a transparent manner. One thing is leading up to the other. Um, pertaining to my leave, let me put some light so the people of Barbies can understand. For what reason? Look, right now I'm applying for my uh, additional two and a half week leave. And until now, starting from next Monday, until now, I got the leave approvals yet. When the leave came and I went overseas, it came Friday afternoon. So the, the person who is carry meals and bring meals from Georgetown. She came late Friday afternoon with the, the letter, approval letter from the ministry. And I left Saturday night. And that was only Friday she brought the letter from the ministry. So the ministry has to carry the blame. However, people knew in this office, all what Dennis D. Roop had to do was to come in and ask the secretary if I am on leave. Then to go and open his big mouth and say, well, you know, uh, Ramaya left the job. He walked away and he gone on vacation. So, but the thing is, what is surprising, the APNO people in that meeting, in the RDC meeting, supported the motion that it is in fact true. And this is again where I see that as if I become an enemy for our people, the AFC, and the APNO people as well, that they are supporting Dennis' motion. And then when Yusuf get to find out, Yusuf either came in my defense, but that is the truth. And the man revealed what was there on Harbajan. So what is happening here, this is the ploy. Who is back of this thing here is a big showdown. It is a showdown in the sense that if they get rid of me, the next person in line and I know there is some speculation that is going on that the, even the uh, minister, uh, Mr. Nagamoto, uh, told me there is a long list of complaints against me because contractors are going there that they are not getting contracts. Well, as I explained to you just, uh, a little while ago, I will not give anybody a job unless it comes through the evaluators and the tender board. This is not Ramaya who is going to have to give somebody a job. It must be in consensus and it must be approved by the tender board before any job. And I think the Procurement Act stated that very explicitly. And the question here, people should understand, government officials cannot dictate for how a region should operate. When questioned about his political affiliation, Dr. Ramaya said, Right now, Michael, I don't have any move to make uh, politically although I love to be in, in that arena um, I will have to play it cool right now I'm still very energetic I'm still agile and to uh, affiliate to any party at this time I have this trust, I'm going to tell you why because the world knows that when I started this movement alone 23 years ago at DTV, then when I was asked to join the AFC after 2006 election, I willingly do so. And that gave an intention that we're going to have a balancing force in Guyana. I always believe in a balancing force that that would bring equilibrium in any given society, especially a society like Guyana. AFC has developed. And I heard even last Sunday Ravi Day was saying that um, maybe Moses brought the 10%. But if the 10% come from Region 5, or 8% from Region 5 and 6, Ramaya has made tremendous investment. Tremendous investment. People believe in what I was doing. People believe what I was going around and do socially. And I had Moses and Kemraj on television in Borbis where they stated that they will not 
affiliate or align themselves with any political party, but we will fight the election independently. And I want the people to know, as a result of that, when the Cummingsburg Accord was agreed upon, I was the only person who did not vote for any coalition. So what is the next move of Dr. Vera Sami Romaya? I, I will go back into my practice and I will start to go back on television and talk about health problems and because right now I will tell you I get so fed up with the suicide rates in, um, in, in Guyana. Up to this morning a cousin of mine, he died. And there are so many people recently, young teenagers committed suicide. And I have seen there is a great increase of heart problems, um, diabetes condition, hypertensive condition. So I think people are not, since I, I get out from the television program with health, that people are losing track of what uh, they should do. And I want to, to generate, uh, stimulate the interest back in society where people can become more cognizant of their health and they can live a, a longer life. So that is my next move after I take a break. The REO then expressed hope for good sense to prevail among political leaders so that Region 6 can move forward. I want to see the manifesto that uh, we, we talked about uh, during the campaign season last year. I want to see, especially Borbis, that more jobs are created for our young people, sport activities, more playgrounds. As a whole, the infrastructure, our drainage and irrigation is extremely bad. But again, being in this office, it gives me tremendous amount of experience that government cannot do everything. I want the people to know that. Responsibilities also lies upon the people itself. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Communities is assuring the people of Region 6 that efforts are being made to ensure that a suitable candidate with the relevant administrative skills replaces Dr. Romaya when he demits office on September 15th. Michael Kahn, Channel 8 News.